Hi guys, welcome back to Ziano. It's Mix from the Mix Creation. The latest updates I want to bring you today. We've talked about security companies. I remember there's a video where we are comp comparing security in Dubai and security in Qatar. And the added advantage that has been happening right now is that security in Qatar, they've not been a little bit very strict. Anyone with a document would come and do security. Anyone with that small qualification would come and do security. And that was well very good because very many people got the opportunities. What is happening right now? Things might be changed. The game might turn around. We might see Qatar going back to the same like Dubai, like Abu Dhabi. Where for you to become a security guard, you need to have a license. And what does it mean to have a license? That means you need to take up exams or you need to do exams for you to have what you call a security license. I think that is the latest development or that is what is happening right now. For people who are in Qatar or for security companies or for those people that are working for security companies, you definitely, you'll bear with me. Or you know what is happening. It is now going to be mandatory for all security guards to have a license, to have what you call a security license, to be a security guard. What does it mean? That you need to have those basics. You need to have a little bit of a, a small, small qualification. If I may mean, you need to know how to read and write, which are going to be part of them. Why do I say you need to need to, to you need to know how to read and write? Is that you are going to do exams for that case? You will go to the police institute, or you go to the police uh, uh, in charge, or police academies in charge, or the institute, and you'll have to take up papers. But remember, the only way to get that license, the only way you will get that license, is by passing the exams. So which is going to be another different case coming next year? We don't know what is going to happen after next year. We don't know what is going to happen after this year. We may find that self-self. For you to have a security job, you need to have what you call a license with you. And for you to have that license, that means you must have passed what you call the exams or you must have passed what you call the papers that are given to you. You need to know how to read. You need to know how to write. You need to know the basics of security. Because the basics of security is those basics that are going to help you to pass the papers that are set for you or in front of you. And that is what is going to be. So definitely, what I have to let you know, we never know tomorrow. Security jobs may be a little bit very hard here in Qatar if you don't have a license and we are inspected by by next year everyone for you to do a security work you should have what you call a license a security license so which is quite something new that is coming up so we may find ourselves we may find security guards in Qatar going back to the same lane like people in Dubai where you need to have a license the added advantage that that means it will it will pick up more it will, it will give more salary that's what we anticipate because if you have a license then definitely you are paid a much higher money or a much higher salary that is compared to other guys but apart from thinking about that we think we anticipate that it must be very compulsory to everyone Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Hope I've tried to share up something for you. Let it be at the back of your mind. You know, if you are coming as a new person to Qatar, you definitely know you will take up classes and you will take up, you will need to have what you call a security license. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the next creation.